I need now you need to understand about the uh, you need to understand uh, to, to understand the how to draw the Venn diagram simple Venn diagram simple only huh okay so it's a uh, taking uh, we are take, take the test full page 256 okay separate this 111.2b okay we are going to represent the following set by the using the Venn diagram now question number a here Venn diagram uh, start with universal set we are going to use usually we are going to use a un rectangle or square to represent the to represent the what is meaning to represent the universal set so you need to write down at the side here you uh, the symbol set uh universal set okay c okay after that you need to uh to get the a uh the a element here the set a using the circle or over you should huh? okay i'm going to use circle lah. so that is meaning we are going to learn to that is meaning we uh, level a set a after that you need to uh, insert all the element okay uh, uh, in uh, universal set here inside the uh, Venn diagram uh, you need to have a dot before the number here the uh, element here indicating this one is an element is an element it's not the number of element here three is inside the a so you are going to have an a so this one three uh you know, sorry so you need to write the dot beside the three okay go to this one uh five also inside here okay also inside here uh, uh, so yeah, see uh, the dots before the element five seven is uh, outside is not in the set a okay uh, seven eleven is a set a so you write them inside the set a so you need to have dot before the uh, the seven here the nine here okay go to eleven is outside so that is mean that is all about the okay that is all about the uh, you are going to uh, this one is complete when simple Venn diagram okay do you understand or not this one you need to understand okay later on tomorrow you are going to learn more about this one you need to apply okay maybe you need to apply okay understand until now Okay, go for this question number B. Also, asking for you to, uh, it's an integer. S is S is an integer, and ten is a S between ten, uh, and twenty. That's meaning excluding ten and twenty. Yeah, uh, that's meaning the element should be eleven, not the eleven ten. Huh, between twelve. 13 integer huh? 14 15 17 and 16 17 18 19 so 20 is, is not inside the topic huh not inside the topic so this one is a uh, don't talk about this one huh uh, we call this a uh, okay how about this one B there uh, B is a uh, set B is a B. What is a prime number? Two, three, and uh, then no, two, uh, no, two, three. Huh, 11, 13. Oh, I also wrong already, huh? Because uh, we are just talking about the element inside the universal set here. 13, after that, 17, and 19. Okay, now we are talking about this one universal set here, yeah, honey. This one 11, so we have uh, 11, 13, 17, and 19 only uh, to be prime number. Now we are going to use uh, uh, to draw the Venn diagram. Usually we are going to use a rectangle, same as previously. 
Uh, you need to label universal set here. Okay. You need to label a universal set here. After that, you need to have a draw a circle or over inside here. Is a depiction inside here. Okay. This one is an over. So we are going to uh, draw a label this one as B, set B. After that, you are going to insert all the element in from the universal set into the when the plane start with 11 11 is a uh, is belong to the this one we uh, it belong to the okay so 11 here uh 12 is uh is not the b inside the b here okay b is not the b here so we are going to uh 12 outside the b okay 13 13 is a uh, is a b inside the b okay inside the B. So see, uh, you have a dot piece, so for hold the 13, 16, uh, 14 is outside of B, okay? So why is it? So you have dots beside uh, before the 14, 15 also here, uh, you have a 15, okay? 15, 16 hey, hey, uh, uh, 15 16 I don't know why huh something is uh, cannot go through huh okay 16 okay so we uh, Okay, 16, 17 is uh, belong to here. Okay, 17. Okay, 17, 18 is outside. Okay. So 18, 19 inside the B. I don't know where is that. Okay, so be here. So, okay, 19. 19 so already complete for this one okay we go for this one for the next question okay is uh, represent by a set Venn diagram okay also region now complement of the set okay complement of the set here so now we are going to represent the complement of each of the points set by using a Venn diagram okay also using the Venn diagram and Complement or set here when the grain. Why is meaning here? Well, yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. You need to list down the element first. What is the element? 3. Multiple of 3, which is uh, less than 30. So you need to list down all the element here. What is the element here? You list down 3, 6, 9, uh, 12, 15. 18, 21, 23, uh, 24, 27. No more. Because less than 30. Okay? That is not including 30, huh? So that is all about the element universal set here. Go to the next. Okay, what is P here? What is P here? The number which is divisible set 6. So you need to plug around. Uh, Find, find from the element in the set P, uh, universal set to find out which one is uh, divisible by 6. Ne? 6 can divide by 6. 12 also can divide, uh, also divide by, by 6. 18 also divisible by 6. And 24 are divisible by 6. So you will list down all the uh, number are divisible by 6. Huh? Okay, uh, that's meaning 6, 12, 18, and 24. Okay, that's meaning universal set. Okay, now we are going to draw this one. You will need to, this one is a represent the universal set. Uh, you have a, okay, okay, you have a symbol here. 
Okay? So now we are going to do the this one. Huh? You, you have a set A, a set P here. You draw a circle inside here. You label inside here as P. Okay, I think you already understand already. Huh? Uh, now I just to mention about complement of set A, uh, set P. Okay. Okay, now we are going to they uh, also going to insert the all the element in the universal set into the when diagram three is not the when is not uh, three is not the element of P six is inside. Okay, and so uh, six is inside. After that's nine, okay, nine, okay. After that, twelve is uh, belong to the, the P, okay, nine. Uh, no, twelve. Fifteen, okay, fifteen. Uh, so after that, eighteen is uh, belong to set P. P, so you label like this, 18, after that, 21, 21, okay, uh, 21, 24, it belongs to set P, okay, belong to set P, uh, 24, okay, uh, tw the last one, 27, okay, 27 so there is any all about this one after that we are going to represent the you uh, represent the complement of set a uh, set p okay complement of set p how to shoot thing we are going to shoot thing how to shoot that something like this uh. you just to shoot like this uh, uh, oh, you know huh? sorry cannot okay so that will draw like this one. This one is a. This one we, we are going to let to shooting the complement of set P. So here we call is a P prime. Okay, P prime. So you need to know understand this one, huh? So I think 